Good morning, good morning. I hope that you are well this morning and that we are blessed to be a part of a new glorious day um, that the Lord has given us. As we hear the, the sounds of the morning and the birds and just the the wonder of uh, God around us and we smell the crisp morning air, I really pray that this would be a, a wonderful and a blessed day to you. And I hope that you are truly well and that uh, your families are well. We just ask the Lord's blessing on each one of us as we spend this time with him. And let us just come before the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Father God, we, we just thank you for, for being with us, Lord. We know that there's so much going on around the world and, and things that are happening all over the place, Father God. The conflicts in the Middle East, the conflicts in Ukraine and Russia, and Father, people battling with economies and, and with uh, finances, people being retrenched and everything, Father. But Lord, we know in all of this that you that you are the anchor that you are the one that sustains us, that you are the one that brings us through all of this. And we pray this morning, Father God, that we would just become quiet before you, that we could turn to you, our rock, our anchor, and focus on you. Lord, may this be a blessed time, and may you be with us, we pray. We ask this in your mighty name. Amen. Our reading this morning is taken from Genesis 7, verse 23, and it reads as follows. Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. Thanks be to God for his word. About 120 years before the great flood, God in loving kindness began to warn the people of the impending doom. You see, wickedness had so engulfed the earth and evil had become so universal that all mankind was in danger of being destroyed. Only one righteous man remained. You see, Noah found grace and favor in the eyes of the Lord and lived in fellowship with him. God instructed Noah, a preacher of righteousness, to prepare a large ark to preserve human and animal life during the flood that would cover the earth. The flood was necessary because all mankind had become so evil that there was no hope that any other person would repent. They continually rejected the message of God. No matter what God did, no matter how hard he tried to convince them and to show them the ill of their ways, they continually rejected the message of God. Sin is more than an act. It is an attitude of unbelief which results in hard-heartedness and disobedience to God's word. Sin then becomes a lifestyle of self-exaltation above God. It is never God's will that anyone perish, but he will not force anyone to repent. He wants us to turn to him with willing hearts, by faith, and then to believe his word. Faith in God is more than knowledge of facts. It is an attitude of trust, yielding to God's authority. And you can never please God without faith, without depending on him. Anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Father, may we truly, truly seek to follow you. May we truly seek to be honest and open in all that we do with you. And Lord, we pray that where there is a gulf separating those who have rejected God and those who are living to please him, we pray that that gulf will be closed, that more and more people will turn to you and to focus on you. Lord, may we too, in this daily walk, focus on you and change our hearts and change our minds so that we are more like you. Let us come before the Lord in prayer. Gracious, loving and wonderful Father, on this day we pray and we ask you, Lord, that you would help us to live righteous and upright lives. That you would allow us to live focused on you and not to live in sin. And Father, where we come fall short, where we have sinned, may we repent, may we turn to you and ask for forgiveness. And may we trust that in your loving grace that you forgive us and that you allow us to be set free. We pray, Lord, that you'd be with us today that you'd hold us in your hands, that you'd guide and look after us. We pray and we ask this in your mighty and your glorious name. Amen. Wishing you an, an awesome, awesome and wonderful, wonderful day. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, and may, his, may, may, may he make his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' loving name we pray. Amen. Blessings to you all and have a wonderful day, folks. And may you know the presence and the love of God and his loving touch in all that you do today. Blessings to you all. Goodbye.
this time of desperation When all we know is doubt and fear There is only one foundation We believe We believe In this broken generation When all is dark you help us see There is only one salvation We believe We believe We believe in God the Father We believe in Jesus Christ We believe in the Holy Spirit And He's given us new life We believe in the crucifixion We believe that He conquered death We believe in the resurrection And He's coming back again We believe So let our faith be more than anthems Greater than the songs we sing And in our weakness and temptation Spirit and is giving us new life. We believe.